guys, it's Petunia Gal, and we are here on a brand new series for Planet Zoo, and I'm super excited, but yet super nervous about this series. So, uh, I did a live stream Friday, but um, I didn't have it come out the way I was expecting it to, so what I'm going to do is start a new uh, sandbox zoo, actually, and um, we're going to go with the, um, I was going to do a scenario, but I think I'm just going to go with grassland and we'll just do North America, I think. And, um, do we have, let's see, sculpted height map. Oh, we can't see an example of it. I don't think we're, we're just going to do flat because if I want to do anything else, we will, um, just do it, you know? It's going to be something totally different from what I'm used to, which is kind of the nervous part, but it's okay. So what we're going to do is name this Conservation Conservation uh, Builds and YT. Oops. Oh, I can't put YT. Conservation builds. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> so this is going to be just habitat builds for the conservation uh, pack. So let's go ahead, create the zoo. And the difficulty, I'm just going to keep on medium, although we're going to change some settings up. And this video is going to be a little bit shorter. It's just going to be kind of an intro video for what we're going to do. And I want to go ahead and show you guys kind of what I'm thinking and um, let you know what animal we're going to go with first. If you guys have watched any of my stuff lately, you know what it is. But, uh, you know, this one is going to be where we're not going to have the zoo open because we're not going to have actual guests coming in. This is, this is just solely a habitat build series. So... What we're going to do is go ahead and that is not what we're going to do. Um, <laughs> we need to get, I think we'll just do a work path here for the stuff that we need. And like I said, it's going to be different because I'm not used to just making something that doesn't have the, um, doesn't have everything going. Like, there's no people in it, no guests or anything like that. So, we're just going to have this like that. And then let's go ahead and get some facilities going. Um, we are just going to do the staff facilities. And I don't really need the buildings. I guess I could put the buildings up. Is this? Oh, no, that's Australia. I'm pretty sure. Habitat. It's conservation. Okay. We'll go with that. Since that's the conservation one, we'll go with that. Might as well. So, I actually think I want to start initially on the grid, which is for some reason... Why is it that way? I don't know. Huh. Oh, that is right. Okay. So I just put the path in wrong. All right. That's fine. <laughs> so we'll go with the uh, keeper hut. And we need staff room. So why can I not find the Here they are. <laughs> Conservation staff room. We'll just go with small because I think that's all we're really going to need. Um, oh, that was the wrong way. Okay. I will put this path in again. So it doesn't look like that. But it's okay for now. We'll do that. I can't believe I put that so crooked. <laughs> um, I'm not going to have uh, where we need to do maintenance. Do need a trade center. 
And that will... What is that? Indian Trade Center. Okay. That looks a little weird. Uh, do we not... What is that one? Okay, I haven't looked at a lot of these, apparently. Because they do not look familiar whatsoever. See, this looks totally different than what we just put down. I don't know. We'll go with it, I guess. Let's put that there. Okay. So, let me get, get rid of these. Because this is not cool. Go ahead and just hit delete or press and hold delete and just click and drag and you can delete all of the path. All of the path. Okay. So what we could do from here, I could just go ahead and align to grid and pick one of these. And that way... See, I don't know if that's going to work, honestly. But we'll see. And then... We'll go deselect grid. It does work. Awesome. Okay. Okay. We got that. That looks so crooked. I don't know why. Like I'm looking at it from the wrong way or something. I don't know. Okay. So we've got the keeper staff room and um trade center what we do need is uh facilities what would we we need a zookeeper I'm trying to think if there's other building we need i feel like there is you guys are probably going to tell me down in the comments right let's go ahead and go get some staff so we're going to need a keeper And I think, do we need a vet to actually take bring the animals, or will a caretaker do that? Let's just get a vet. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the sickness and stuff turned off. So let's go to settings real quick. And we'll go to game. Okay. I don't know if this is still set up the way I had it before. Uh, disable animal navigation terrain constraints. I'm going to keep that on. I want to make this where it could still be used in a regular zoo. Like if I do put it up on, uh, in the workshop or something like that. So we'll go ahead and keep the welfare enabled. Um, I'm going to turn off illness. And I guess we'll turn off death. I don't know. So we want to enable the aging and birth because uh, I still I want to get babies. So we definitely are going to have to do that. Enable death through aging. Yeah, that's fine. We'll keep that. Uh, social group animal stress. Okay, so we will turn off injuries. We don't really need to turn off fights, I don't think, but we're going to do that. It's only going to be one animal, you know, one species per habitat. So I'm not super worried about predatory stuff or anything like that. Uh, we'll turn off where they can go to the bathroom because we don't need that. Um, hard shelter. I'm going to turn off food spoiling too. Just because I can. It's kind of weird using all these settings because I've never really used a sandbox. So... Um, we'll go ahead and enable en uh, escapes just so if they do, we can fix it. Uh, I think that's the only reason we would do that. And we have the zoo closed, so I don't think we need to worry about that, but I'll turn it down. And happiness, injury, uh, energy, hunger, thirst. Yeah, I want to do all that. Obviously, we don't need the guest stuff. Don't need vandalism going on. And I'm guessing the settings are per zoo because I've changed these before. Uh, we don't need guest playing, right? Or litter. It's kind of cool to um, to change the settings like that. It's kind of neat. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll go ahead and resume. And then the first habitat I'll just put out here. So we're going to do the Shavalsky's horse. 
And I think what we'll do is let's go ahead and I'm going to do a night aligned to grid just because I think we'll at least start with that. And we'll have this go out and then we'll have it go to a regular path. And uh, I think the conservation stuff was just, so just that, I think it was just natural grass, which I don't know. I'm not going to use natural grass path. That's kind of weird. I think. Not really worried about the paths for this. Um, let's go ahead and do the tree bark path. Just because I'm not super worried about having the pathing in here, right? But we'll put a path here. And then um, I'm going to start with a barrier and small wood. Oh, these are the small ha habitat gates, which is super cool that they added those. I'm going to do a null barrier just to have one for now. And I'm going to put it back back from the path a little bit and I'm just gonna have it go out like that just so when we put the um, horses in that we'll be able to see if they like their the size of the habitat and I think I may move it a little bit I may change it around a little bit but um, what I usually do here is click and then drag this as far as possible. They have a shortcut, or should have a shortcut, where you can hit the um, plus or minus, I think, and make the path bigger or shorter, or longer or shorter. And it's never worked for me, so I don't know if anybody else has that issue, but it's definitely an issue that I have. I'm going to put the habitat gate right there. And we'll go ahead and make it a staff path. And I'm just going to have it go around like that. This is just so they can get in here and put the animals in, right? So. See, the only problem with this barrier is I can't see it. Let's, let's change it. I'm going to change it to... Oops, that is not what I wanted to do. I'm going to select all that. We'll just change it to this for now. Just so we can see where it's at. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do back here is going to be uh, a barn. Or back here. Not one of those sides. You know. <laughs> one of those sides is going to be a barn. So let's go ahead and have the... We'll get the Chevalsky's horse. So let's... Oh, there it is. Uh, female... You know, well, it's not really good as far as, you know, the stuff on them goes. We'll adopt this one. This was a theme, uh, a male. Bring this one in. And we need a female. I guess it doesn't matter too much about their stats, except I wish the fertility was a little higher. We'll go ahead and get this one. Okay. And I am going to do this. I'm going to take this, go to here, and I'm going to change the time, the closing time, to there, I think. Just so we don't have to worry about it being night so much. So there we go. Got a horse in. Awesome. Oh, look at that. Oh, so cool. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I love this game, guys. I so love this game. Okay. Go ahead and get out. I paused it for now. Uh, well, let's let's go ahead and play till this one gets in. <clears throat> and go up. Okay. So, I definitely like their welfare still to be an issue. Just because I like to be able to see, you know, what I don't get right. And... Let's, I think I'll also need to get a research center. Let's go ahead and pause that. Because if we look at, say, habitat, 
and we go to here species so let's go down to the Shavalsky's horse there it is okay I feel like we won't have maybe we do so I definitely wanted to get this guy I was like, why isn't it showing up? We'll get this guy in here. And we're going to change up the, the ground and all of that. Put that guy yeah. in. And, oh, everything's good. Well, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like all this long grass, so we're not going to do that. Not going to do that. Let's go ahead and go to short grass. Um, Let's do size up. Okie dokie. Seems like it should, it should be bigger than that. I mean, I will keep, I could keep some long grass like towards the back of the habitat. So what we could do is change the intensity down and just kind of swipe around some of this. And without actually going down, you can't really tell where the long grass is. But see, there. There's just like spurts of grass now. I don't know if I like that. I don't know if I like that. We'll go ahead and just remove all that stuff. I may paint back in some long grass. Once we have everything set up and everything, I may do that. But for now, I definitely prefer the uh, short grass. Let's go up a little bit. So I want the stuff in front to be short. Come on. All right. I maybe should have picked a different continent. But that's okay. That's fine. Okay. So, like I said, I want the welfare and stuff to still be a thing. Let's go ahead well, and give I them... I usually do at least a medium food trough. So we'll do that. I like that everywhere you put them, they make like this round spot of grass here. It's kind of weird. But that's okay. And we'll give them one of these. Okay, but I, what I really want to work with is if we go to nature and we go here, I go to, I think this will work. If we go to conservation pack, yeah, they've got so much cool, like, grass and flowers and stuff. Look at that. That's so awesome. So let's see. I'm going to close that for now. And let's let go down a little bit, I think. Okay, so what we can do with this is you can just hit X and move it down. And I'm wondering if we can do this. Can we do... Um, control D. Okay, that's not working. So they added something. I don't know when. Um, they added an option to the game where you can... Where when you're copying something, it stays on the same, like, plane as that. I don't know if it's something you have to turn on. Random rotation. Definitely want that. Yeah, because I don't see it here. They do have an align to water now, too, which is pretty cool. I wonder what happens if I turn off align to surface. Then we could just get this to look more like... See, I think that did it. Let's see. We place that. Oh, no, that didn't work. <laughs> that did not work. All right, that's fine. I'm going to change. This is another thing I like about playing uh, with the sandbox is you don't have to worry about like staying with the light that you have. Um, I don't know what light is actually better for this, actually. That's fine. If we do that. I want to make essentially my own tall grass, right? Because... 
I just think that's super cool. See, I think that stayed in the same. I think it did. Just super cool. So I could do this all day, you know? Just kind of put these around. And I think what we'll do, like I said, we'll have a barn either this side or this side. Um, I think they have plenty of space, so we could technically make this smaller. So what we can do is just select this stuff at the back. And once it decides to let me do something, come on. Hello. Hello. No. I don't know why it does that. Sometimes it just doesn't want to cooperate. Let's do this. There we go. And we'll just move this in a little bit. Just because this is pretty big. And what we get... Oh. Oh, it's, uh, it's because I'm... Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> and what we could do... I'm going to go ahead and take off this side. And we'll move this... Nope, I don't want to move the whole thing. Okay, I'm going to delete these. So what I was imagining was the barn would be like the corner. Oh, wait, we don't want to. Yeah, that's right. The barn will be the corner of the habitat. So we'll do this. It's going to be pretty square, I think, because to me, when you think about like a horse area, you I think square. I don't know. Could just be me, but... I'm going to do that, and then we'll go here and connect it, and then we'll just delete that. Looks good? I think that looks good. Okay, so this will be the barn back here, and we will do that next time. Um, once I thought this was done. Oh, no! <laughs> just, just totally vanished out of the thing. Come on. Click there. I just want to move him, but whatever. It's okay. It's fine. I think because I it was already like I don't know. It was already set, so that just happened, I guess. Alright. So I want to play around with lots of grass and stuff. But I also want to get trees. So let's see. Like I said a lot of the traversable area may be a problem. Um once we put all these all these things in, right? Oh gosh, I thought that was just the bush, but it is a big thing. I don't know if we want that big of a tree. <laughs> is this? Okay, there we go. That's better. That's better. Oh, I can't do it, guys. I can't do it. I don't like red. I know it's not going to really affect them. Um... But I just, I don't like red. Let's see. So the conservation is going to come in the, like, uh, barrier. The custom barrier and stuff like that. So let's do this and go to biome. Grassland. Okay. I really wanted to play with the new stuff. but That's okay. I like, I like a lot of these. These are cool. Um... And I'm pretty sure we can still do the grasses. Uh, not the grasses that we're just doing, obviously. But um, if we do this. Yeah, down here. No, no, no. I thought that was grass. Sorry. This. This is what I like. Okay. <laughs> so this way we can just have it go around. We've got the random rotation on. Um, so it should be all good. So we'll go around like that. Does that, I don't know. I keep thinking it does keep the elevation that you're at. Then it doesn't seem like it does. So I don't know. It's crazy. And we'll go ahead and I like to put, which I don't know if it makes sense, but I like to put the grasses, um, 
around the bottoms of the trees. Just, I don't know. I just think it looks good. And with the, with the random rotation on, I don't usually mess too much with that. Uh, just because, you know, it's already randomized. So, you know, it's cool. Uh, flowers. Oh, we could put flowers out. Um, the flowers, I think I'm going to have, I know, I know if we had flowers in a real life horse, you know, area that they would be eaten. I know that. <laughs> I know that. But I really like the way they look. <laughs> don't, I don't want that. That looks weird. And again, I don't think we want to go with anything too big and crazy. We could put daisies out. We could have like a field of daisies. Put these in the corners here. So I may just do some work with these off camera. Um, but you guys can see like what I'm thinking here. And just kind of put these around. I don't know how well the animals traverse over these. Because I know some sometimes... Oh, he's, he's uh, eating from the thing. Yay. <laughs> uh, but sometimes they just like walk over the stuff you put on the ground. But that's okay. I really like that. That's cute. That may be the thumbnail. But like I said, this is just to uh, a little bit of an introduction and we will finish this habitat next time. But I definitely wanted to get it started, let you guys know about the series. And um, yeah, I think it's going to be super cool. Uh, hope you guys do enjoy it. And uh, let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments. I know this is a pretty bare um, habitat, but I will work on it in between and next time we're going to do a custom uh, barrier and I may have kind of the out um, outline or out, yeah, outline of the, of the barn kind of set. Because one thing I have realized about me is I, I do a uh, building very slowly. So that's one of the reasons I did the, the live stream and then decided I didn't like it. Because I just didn't get a lot done. And I decided to change the map and stuff like that. So hopefully you guys don't mind that. But we've got uh, the start of a, of a habitat here. Not, not a lot. But, you know, it'll, it'll get lots more um, involved next time. But we've got our initial buildings. Um, which I still can't believe this one looks so different than these two. But it's okay. It's fine. Uh, we're not here for those buildings. We're here for the animals, right? <laughs> we're here for the habitat. So what we'll do is we'll finish this off next time. Um, I don't know like the, the parts I will do off camera and the parts that I'll do on camera. Um, it's hard because getting this timing of this, uh, you know, out enough that you guys will still watch it and it's not going to be super long. And also keeping in the stuff that you want to keep in. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about the, um, you know, wanting to see off camera or all on camera. Uh, I may, I'll probably do some of this on live streams too. That's what my plan is. So definitely if you're not uh, following me here or on Twitch, uh, definitely do that. I will stream this on Fridays at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. So if you guys want to come hang out for that, that'd be super awesome. And yeah, so until next time, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Like I said, we didn't get a lot done, but we do have it kind of set up so we can get it done next time. And yeah, until then, hope you have a super blessed night or day wherever you are. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys! <laughs>